Apple or PC? <laughs> no, that's offensive. <laughs> you know what I mean? My name is Apple Jacks. You know what I'm saying? Um, Yo, what's up? This is Sky Free representing City Takers. Yeah, back in the field with the track stars Ryan Wright, Sean Tan, and DJ Jeremiah. Of course, this episode is brought to you by Audible.com. Go to audibletrial.com forward slash track stars with a Z. Get a free audiobook on us. Make sure that you are going to the website, www.trackstars.com. Each week, download the podcast. Um, make sure that you subscribe to the newsletter so you can keep in contact with us and make sure you know everything track stars is doing follow us on twitter at track stars instagram at track stars go to the youtube channel subscribe to the channel and keep up with your boys yeah. all right we got apple jacks in the building how you doing sir hey, i'm doing well what's going on it's good to be here you know the infamous <laughs> thank you man track stars you know i watch you guys like literally when you post up something i'm watching so wow appreciate really. that man you guys got like a huge movement going out in boston right now Absolutely. man how's Absolutely. everything going it's cool man so what we did we had to redefine what we were doing redefine the mission and so uh, my brand is fantasy is a place that different people become the difference that they want to see in the world yeah and within that it's like nike has like different compartments and we have ace which yeah. um, stands for all christ everything and what we did was we created a concert and we started with um r swift and show baraka and then we had social club and truth was there last year so each year um in collaboration with church boy clothing yeah we produce this thing and it's real dope Man, I've been I've been talking with uh, uh, Mike Mack, man. Mike Mack, yeah. And yeah. Um, he was oh just God. telling me about the camaraderie, about the Boston artists, man, right. and you guys, how you all come together and you do everything to support one another, man. Yeah. How did how did you all do that in CHH and 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 keep you know everybody's brand separate right. and work together? You know, one of the things is uh, we all like to eat. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> so if you get food in the room, you know, we, hey, let's let's break bread literally. Um, I don't like nobody touching my food. So, you know what I mean? Make sure you wash your hands and be good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we talked. We Last week we had um, like 14 of us at my house and we recorded a mixtape that we're working on for wow. next year. And what we do is the best way is honestly put the pride down. You know what yeah. I mean? Nobody's the illest rapper. You know, I have this. I have this video and I was talking about how um, I, I feel like in Christian hip hop it's like a pride trip it's a power trip it's like we want to be the best one so what we do yeah. is we say look man y'all nice but you know what I mean let's come together put the pride down let's have fun Netflix and hang out you know what I mean and we just watch TV play video games Record and you know we just have fun. You know we try not to make it so serious and all that, so it's good. Who reaches out to who in that situation? Like how does a how does a newcomer in Boston connect with you guys? So the best way is through myself or Mike. Okay, uh, Mike is like one of the go to guys. So if you want to know about doing shows, you go straight to Mike. Mike is that guy. Um, usually for me because I know everyone, know all the different people. Got remember Bobby Bishop's up there. Mm -hmm. um, so there are a lot of different folks that are there. So when they come in, usually they hit me or they hit uh, Mike up. And like what's going on I heard about this ace thing and, I'll, and we'll just let them know if there's a fellowship or if we're going to five guys just to hang out you know whatever it is we make sure people come through and just you know hang out yeah, that's what's up yeah it's good that's what's up what's going on with uh new music man and everything you got going on personally man honestly you know i've been in a transition yeah um and on a serious tip i took a class as i was saying earlier social media and analytics uh -huh. looked at my brand i realized i wasn't selling as much let's just be honest i yeah. was like you know what man i had three downloads last week and i was like hold on i gotta fix this you know what i mean yeah. how do i do that so i started talking to other rappers and no one would let, like actually give me the information so one of my bloggers, um, she has a oh, friends, not my blogger, but mm -hmm. she has a page, um, Natural Eighty Five, and she does like natural hair. She said, "Yo, Jax, why don't you just blog about your life?" And I was like, "I never thought about that. I ain't that interesting." She's like, "You are. You know what I mean?" So she encouraged me to kind of do more outside of music and I took that class and they were saying that it's 80% about everything else and 20% about your music and what we were doing was everybody else do they be spamming people on Twitter hey man download my mixtape be yes. DMing dudes on a different account yes. talking about yo go <laughs> you want to you know see you want to yeah. see that heavy man you, you know, look at track stars DM man like, that's man, all we get can't do it. so I, I looked at everything and they teach you to kind of look at your, your numbers and be realistic if you only got a hundred views you utilize the hundred views and you try to build something so mm. going through all of that 
talked to Marty. Marty gave me the podcast, and I realized that my message wasn't as clear. I put out music, but there wasn't a theme. So we had it. We sat down and went through my brand. I was like, well, so what's different about you? What's what what is the connecting factor between each album? And I was like, well, everyone always says I'm just different. I don't sound like a regular rapper. I'm from North Carolina. I lived in Connecticut. I'm in Boston. I used to be in San Diego. I'm all over the place. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So with that, the the theme is for me is I I reach the different people, the kids that are the eyeballs, the one that don't fit into the crowd. That's who I cater to. And after that, I begin to have a focus on my music. And it's weird that it took all of that years of just grinding and everyone be like yo man why are you not up here and I was like it's not really like that God gives you a certain time frame and yeah. gives you information and also you have to get past yourself the idea that you're not where you want to be but you are focused on getting to where, where you feel like God is leading you and I think that we've learned to just kind of keep our pride down man and, and I think just I don't know like even coming here was my big thing was coming to see you guys. You know what oh, I mean? Like yeah. that was, I was like, yo, I'm gonna be performing. I'm at World Changes. I was at World Changes last night. Okay. And I was like, but I need to get the track stars. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. But the reason is, is because you know I love what you guys are doing, and I think for me, I want to see more of that. Just open support of other people that's not connected to my brand. Yeah. And so that's what it's all. That's what that's what I've been into outside of recording, rethinking, rebranding, reunderstanding, and. And just grind it. So, so. What, what what would you say is advice for an artist that they have talent and they're just now kind of getting the ball rolling? Because right. I mean, back in the South days, you was heavy on on the South. Like I felt like that promotion was there. Yeah. What what's the what's the best bang for your buck? Be honest, like because if if you got a small budget, you're kind of scraping this you together no by budget, yourself. Yeah. How do you get your stuff out there okay. when you, you ain't caking like that? You know what? Uh, this is how you do. You take five hundred dollars. You make this, you make two albums worth of material, right? And the best way to do that is you lease beats. Come on. Yeah, yeah the dudes are trying to get it play that's exclusives. Real. That's real. I'm like, man, I ain't got a thousand dollars. There's a guy I want to work with right now. His beat was fifteen hundred dollars. I'm like, hey man, I can't that's my mortgage. Come on, I cannot do that <laughs> right now. You know what I mean? So yeah, you know what I'm saying? So let me go on there, let me go to Sound Click. $24 And what we do is We record two albums Worth of material I mix my own records um, And I do all my video editing So everything and That's only because I have an IT background So I can do that What you do is You create the content first You know And then After you do that You figure out your story mm-hmm. That's the first thing Most dudes talking about You know you know, My album This album is going to be About serving Jesus Come on I'm like yes That's good But who are you In that message And that's what I would suggest I would say first get um, get the content create the story when you create the story then you have to have the content that matches that story so you got to do something outside of music things that are not related to dropping new mixtapes and all that do a, do a blog about uh, your, your top three videos or top three TV shows on Netflix that's what I'm doing next week and you just start doing stuff that's like that on a weekly basis every single week so after you create the content you you figure out your story and then you develop a content background and you like i mean a content schedule so you'd be like look i gotta drop something every week it's not a music video it's not any songs but it's like content that it can relate to everybody else once you get through all that when they see you consistent then they will be like oh I understand this person's brand is about this and they're talking about it and I've seen them post for three straight months and didn't skip a day or didn't skip a week. Mm -hmm. And then you go to Rapzilla. Then you go to Trackstar. Then you go to the sites. If you haven't even done the first three, you can't even go to them because you're going there, you're going to spend $1,000 on something that you haven't even built yet. Mm -hmm. And another thing is, I love noise trade. I had $8,000. dollars, And the reason I'm saying this is because this is, in, in our industry, over at Harvard, we talk numbers. It's like you gotta you got be to. honest. So I had eight thousand downloads from my noise trade, but I haven't been using it for two years. I'm like, man, look at all these downloads. I don't even know what to do with them. So it wasn't until I started going to class, and they're like, man, you're the dumbest person right now. I'm like, why? You know, it's offensive. You know what I'm saying? Trying to call me out. You know, but they were saying because I haven't used the people that actually supported my music, mm-hmm. and I didn't know how to do that. Gotcha. So before you even get to rap shows, before you get to the sites. Build your own base. And then once you build that base, you spread out. Now, how do you spend that money on the websites? Free downloads is always the best way. Like, if you look at Social Club, we've seen them do it. They were dropping two, three projects a year for two, three years straight. 
And then they start releasing albums. One guy is uh, from Social Triggers. He said that you can't sell anything until you build an audience. And that's how you do it, you know. And that's wow! It. But Apple Jacks, that sounds like a lot of work, man. Man, that, hey, what, that's a lot of. I want to. I want to be successful right now. What do I do? <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, my goal. You know what it is in Christian hip hop. Let's be honest. Um, I know a lot of artists. A lot of people when they see me, they're like, "Oh, I heard of you. I don't know what you look like." And one of the things that I realized was, we people in my community where I'm from, they look for the cosign. They go and get these collaborations, but if it's not built on real relationships, those collaborations don't last. I seen someone collaborate with Lecrae, and I thought that record was going to be huge. I won't say the names, but I thought that, you know what I mean? Because I don't want to be, oh, you trying to call me out? But I seen him collaborate with Lecrae, and it wasn't Lecrae that was issue. It was the fact that he didn't really build his brand at that time, and it didn't really make sense. And then the song didn't make sense either. They didn't do any research. It was like an underground beat. I'm like, why don't you put him on something that's going to be turned up? And what I realized was just because Lecrae or anyone with a name or like Drake is on the record doesn't mean that it's going to take off. It's when your brand plus their brand come together. Mm. You know, Andy Minio Social Club. That comes together, then it takes off. You feel what I'm saying? All right, let me let me do some practical stuff with you. All right, and I may need help from you guys. All right, TuneCore or CD Baby? TuneCore. All right, um, Logic or Pro Tools? For what? Uh, recording. Here we go. Pro Tools because everyone's using it, but I love Logic. Okay. Yeah. Um, Fruity Loops or Reason? Oh yeah, FL. Yeah. Okay. Fruity wow. Loops. Really? Yeah. Not a reason. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not because because here's the thing. Fruity Loops, it it builds over time. Reason is just. I hate reason. That's reason. That's what you know. What reason sounds sound like? That's how you reason. know it's whack. It's, you know what I, I can hear a reason beat. I yeah. <laughs> it, it's it's the it's the um uh, what do they call them? Not plugins. What do they call this? It's stuff? the plugins. Yeah, they have they plugins. Call plugins. Yeah, or, I, or I, B, I, BSTs. I hear them. Yeah, I hear the. Sound. You're not supposed to record. I mean, some people kill reason. I, yeah, my fault. <laughs> For all you reason people, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay. Um, as far as as far as promotion, Twitter or Facebook? Oh, Facebook. It got real. Yeah, because Facebook that that's a touchy one because. It feel like for us, we're we're terrible on Facebook, terrible. but Twitter is where we kind of that's where we Shy. do our thing. But this is what did it for me. My brother, right here, I went I went to his graduation. They were like, all right, everybody who's on uh, Twitter, stand up, and it was like maybe half of the kids stood up. Right. Everybody who's on Facebook, stand up. Everybody. everybody stood. <laughs> and it's like, man, I hate Facebook. Yeah. yeah. But <laughs> everybody is on Facebook. So what is, what's your tip for doing well on Facebook? You know, um, first I would say that I noticed that I wasn't getting any and you know it's funny all of mine is because I something was going wrong with me that I had to make a change I wasn't having any traffic on Twitter and barely any traffic on Facebook but on my, on my personal Facebook I posted up something yesterday with my wife and I was like oh this is what happens when she steals my phone it's her with these nails and look nice yeah. and it has like 70 response 70 likes and mad comments I was like okay Posted on Twitter, three retweets, yeah. one favorite. You know what I mean? So I started to realize that most people engage on Facebook first, then they take it to Twitter with the hashtag. Mm-hmm. And I think that's, that's where mm-hmm. that's you good. know the algorithm on Facebook changes, and you have to like kind of adjust. Or if you have a band page, you have to you have to like sponsor it and all that. But it's easier to get people to see it because once they like something, it goes back into the feed. Mm-hmm. And that's it's more of an engagement thing with me with Facebook rather than Twitter. But I like both. So would you would you say for Facebook? So would you say personal like do a personal page and a band page, or do you just create from the from the personal page? Or what's your take on that? Um, I usually do both. I just separate the two, and my band page doesn't get a lot of li- likes, so sometimes I have to sponsor it. But I would say do both. Don't I don't like the idea of like it's on my Apple Jacks page and I share it on my personal page. It just doesn't look right. The way they um, quote it and everything. Yeah. It looks terrible. La- all right, last one. Apple or PC? <laughs> no, that's offensive. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? My name is Apple Jacks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, Apple. And that's real. it's just it, only because I've I had a PC for a long time. And I needed to do some video editing, and, and, the, and the computer was breaking down. I had to get another one. So he I goes to Harvard. Build it. He goes to Harvard. People, this is this you know, educated answer here. You know, it, hey, I will say this: uh, Apple, because just everything we do, 
for yeah, creative people. Creative, it goes through it. Yeah, so that's all right, man. So uh, give them give them all the social since we've been talking about it. Let them know so if they could, they want to study, they could. They yeah, could find yeah. It. You know, um, I'll keep it real simple. Apple Dapple X dot com. Everything's there. Um, I got a blog called a different blog. Uh, my video series is Apple Dapples, series of my life, things that I'm going through, things I'm doing. Um, and that's it. Just go to the website, AppleDappleX.com. When you put Apple Jacks with two X's in there, you'll probably find me somewhere. So uh, that's where you find me. You might find me in Panera Bread or Five Guys or Starbucks. So if you see me, say what's up to me. That's what's, that's up, what's man. up, man. Thanks for coming through, man. Let's Absolutely. get back into it. You in the field with the track stars, Ryan Righteous, Shantan, and DJ Jeremiah. Let's go. Yeah.